Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion. So, let's continue where we left off and we can actually raise our command point limit much faster by building star bases. I just checked the planet that already had a star base. But we can build a star base on our ultra rich planet, for example. That shouldn't take too long. Let's see. Only three turns. Yep. So four turns because I let the cloning center finish. And I'll queue up a few more on other planets. But I don't think I'm going to bother on planets that don't have a lot of production. I'm not that desperate for more command points. Anyway. We'll just leave the battleship here. Next. I still want to get to Orion. So hopefully we'll get there sometime soon. What do we want to colonize exactly? I think I want to colonize towards Orion, actually. It's over here. Yeah, I think we're going to colonize in that general direction. Even though these planets are not exactly amazing. But I still want to colonize in that direction. And you, yep, you are also coming. We can probably colonize both these systems over here. Assuming Volantis won't have two gas giants, but I don't think it will. As for our space factory, what can we do? We can send it here, I suppose. That works. Get more credits, perhaps. And you? Let's just explore. Where do we want to go? Let's go this way. I assume this will be connected. We finish the asteroid mine. Alright, next. Come on, people. Let's move. More population. Automated factory was done. And this colony ship will go this way. And next. We discovered some new planets. Sounds good. So, one of these guys will colonize this planet over here, and the other one will colonize Volantis. Are these any good? Small but rich. And this one? Medium radiated poor. Alright. So, I wonder just how strong the Guardian is. Probably pretty damn strong. He was very strong in the original Master of Orion. But if we send everything, we might have a chance. I definitely want to try. It does look like it's going to be rough. Where's our battleship? Yeah, just look at the value over here. It had what, 57,000? Where's Orion again? Over here. Yeah, 57,000. That's a little bit crazy. We probably want to wait for a stronger fleet. But we'll beat that guy. What was our battleship at? Where's the battleship? Somewhere down here. Is that the battleship? No, cruisers. Yeah, where exactly did I leave the battleship? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, right here. It's hiding behind the space factory. 10,000. Alright. We just need another battleship or two. Or maybe the Titan. That's not a bad idea. Okay, next. We'll check this system over here. GNN. Galactic News Network. War erupts between... Oh, yeah, I don't really care about these guys. They can fight. I don't really care all that much. Alright, well, choose production. Pegasus Prime. Does this planet have a starbase? Yes, it does. Alright then. Let's get some basic defenses. We already got the missile base. We could get the barracks. Oh yeah, spaceport, right. And we can also terraform this planet. Let's terraform it, why not? But... Spaceport first. More money is always good. And the next. So, Starbase. Yep, nine turns. I thought the Starbase required more production than this. We can just spam Starbases pretty much everywhere. And we should, because that's also defense. 
They are pretty good defensively, actually. Alright, which planet is this? Sol Prime. This one already has a starbase, I think. Yes, it does. So, let's build a missile base, why not? It will only take two turns. As for you, yeah, these are our colony ships. So what do we want to colonize exactly? We should check this system, that planet might be pretty good. We can also check this one. But we'll have to wait one turn. Let's just split these guys. I could just explore this system right here with the colony ship. I don't see a problem with that. Toxic pore, yeah, that's not a very good planet. And this is a gas giant. I could always send my space factory there to convert the gas giant into a usable planet. We could do that. Or we could just get more colony ships. Yep, we'll just get more colony ships. Let's check this system over here. Medium, Tundra, Abundant. And Gem? Credits boost. And that's a gas giant. Alright, carry on. A lot of systems around here that are completely untouched. Okay. That was Astro University. That's our capital. What do we need? Let's have a look. Advanced data center. We don't need any of these things. We're maxed on population here and we can't terraform. We should just get another battleship. That's 18 turns. That's a lot of turns. Let's get started. We'll have the command points by the time it's done. We already do have the command points. 31 out of 40. Alright. So, you guys, let's check out this system over here. Is this any good? Medium radiated mineral reach and production boost. I like that. We'll colonize this one. And then... I'm not sure. Let's check this system. That's a gas giant. Never mind then. Alright. I just want to pick the best planets in this general area. Let's check this system over here, Tarandos. It might be good. Okay, off we go. I think I should upgrade some of the ships. I don't think they are fully upgraded. Does this planet have a starbase? I don't think so. Yeah, it does. Let's terraform it. Oh, jump gate. System unique. That's nice. We definitely need that. We need the jump gate on Mentar because it's kind of in the corner of the galaxy. Maybe after the battleship? Yeah, I want that battleship. We could also build the jump gate on Pegasus Prime. That's probably a better plan. After the spaceport? No, but we are terraforming this planet. Or on Sol Prime? It's not doing anything, actually. Yep, 14 turns. That's acceptable. And research. Yeah, we just unlocked that. And subspace communications, plus three command points. Alright, so what do we want to research next? Let's have a look at the tree. Maybe something military? To beat that guardian? We could unlock the titan. Where was it exactly? It's somewhere around here. I don't remember. It should be highlighted with... Yeah, there it is. 10 command points. I think we'll unlock the Titan. I could even give up the battleship for now and wait for the Titan. And we can use the 9 turns it will take to get Astro Construction to build the jump gate on Mentar. I like that plan. And then we'll get the Titan after the jump gate. Sounds good. And then we'll just grab all our ships and attack the Guardian. Research laboratory, 2 out of 9. I should just move some population around from planets that are capped. But we will build soil enrichment facility. Do we really need that here? 
Which planet is this? Enzo 2. 4 out of 8. Soul Prime is at 10 out of 11, but we are building the jump gate there. What about this one? 4 out of 9. 5 out of 9. 8 out of 9. 3 out of 3. 5 out of 5, and it's about to finish the spaceport. Yep, let's just grab some transports here. Civil transport. Sounds good. And keep exploring. This planet any good? Not really. Yeah, ultra poor. With some gems. That's not very good, no. And yep, let's keep moving. And we'll colonize this planet right here. Yep, it's pretty good. It's radiated, but it's rich, and I like that. And it has a production boost on top of that. Okay. I think we'll just rush the automated factory. We have quite a lot of gold, credits, whatever. We can afford it. Then fungal farms, biospheres, hydroponic farms. In this order. Alright, next. We still got over 1000. Okay, well, we have enough command points for one Titan. If we get one more spaceport, uh, I mean starbase, we could get two Titans. It will just take a while to actually build them. As for you, let's get a civil transport here. Why not? This planet should grow reasonably quickly, right? It does have the buildings that give it food. So, let's check Tarandos. Is this any good? Medium, desert, abundant, and credits boost. Small, arid, abundant, and also credits boost. That's a pretty nice system. We'll colonize this one. And go this way. Maybe we should check this one before we colonize. Not that it really makes a difference, we'll just get more colony ships. We'll colonize all of this stuff. So, that's the bigger planet, medium. Yep, let's just grab this one. It's also abundant. These are both abundant. Alright, go. And we'll just buy the automated factory to speed things up. Fungal farms, biospheres, and hydroponic farm. There. In this order. No, hydroponic farm first, then biospheres. Okay. Anything else we need to scout? Other than Orion. Yeah, 57,000. It's going to be rough. I think we scouted everything other than these systems. Alright. Let's explore in that general direction then. We're not attacking Orion yet. We need the Titans first. Threatening fleet detected. Yes, we know. There's a Guardian. Thanks for the update. I wouldn't have noticed. Okay, 8 out of 9 population. And terraforming. Starbase. Yep, more starbases. We should just build a starbase on every system, honestly. It's good for defense, it raises command point limit. This planet seems to already have one. No, it doesn't. 15 turns. Yep. Build that. And there's our civil transport. Where do we want to move that? Probably to one of our newest planets. Like this one, for example. Two out of six. Yep, sounds good to me. Off you go, then. And convert the gas giant. Yep. Next. And choose production again. We got a lot of planets now. Four out of five population. 
Does this planet have a starbase? Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. So, starbase... And this one... Oh yeah, we should build a jump gate here. This is our highest production planet because it's ultra-rich. And it has a special production bonus. So that's 26 production. Can we terraform it? No, we just finished terraforming it, right? Yes, we did. Two turns to get a research lab. No, we can still terraform it. 15 turns. Alright, carry on. And there's another civil transport. So let's send it all the way here. That's 17 turns. Yeah, that's a little bit too far away, maybe. And you? This way. Four planets in this system. Not bad. And it's not colonized? Let's find out. No, it's not colonized. All right. Yeah, I don't think the AI discovered the tech that allows the move through the unstable warp points. And they can't get to the center without the ability to move through unstable warp points, it seems. Which is why all of this stuff is not colonized at all. And we can grab it all ourselves. Artifacts, that's a research bonus. That's a pretty good system. These planets are not amazing, but this one is nice. But four planets in one system. Okay, more star bases. Let's see. Jump gate, terraforming. 27 turns to terraform this. Do we need a holo simulator? We kind of do. Yeah, we definitely do, actually. Alright, carry on then. This is a lot of planet micromanagement now. <laughs> right, just leave these guys here. How's that tech? Three more turns. And we'll unlock the Titan. As well as heavy fighter base. And you guys, we can go this way. We still need to make contact with one more race. I think. Alright, jump through here. That's an empty system from the looks of it. Alright. More production. So, another starbase or more terraforming. 38 turns. That's a little bit too much. 8 out of 8. We can get a civil transport here. Yep. Might as well. There we go, we made contact with the last race. You are now before the hierarch of the Sacra Blood. Threaten not my progeny, and you... Yeah, whatever you say. Okay, we finished the jump gate on Mentor Prime. We need something that will take one turn. Can we get anything in one turn? We could just get trade goods or clean up pollution. We got 1%. I suppose we can just clean up pollution for one turn. And next... Two out of six population. Spaceport? Subterranean farms will take a little bit too long. Let's get some research. And we can still explore around a bit. So, there's our Titan. Unlocked. Not sure if that's the biggest hull. Upgrade with fighter base. And what's next? So I wonder if that's actually the biggest hull. Let's see if we can find something bigger. I'm curious. We need this icon. No, not that one. Dome Star. Okay, that's the biggest one. Empire Unique. 15 command points. Yep, that's the biggest. <laughs> and you can only have one. And it costs double the production of the Titan. Alright then, so what do we want? Maybe some weapons. We'll need better weapons. 
against the Guardian. Energy Absorber, plus 50% energy weapon damage, plus 25% ship space. Alright, let's go for high energy distribution. Can we unlock some fun in your weapons? Yeah, we can. Kind of? Gauss Cannon. 40 range. And 40 range. Class 5 shield. Well, there are quite a few useful military techs. Advanced military outpost. Export. Exports production to the planet with the interplanetary administration structure in the system. Ooh, I like that. Anyway, we'll go for high energy distribution. Upgrade. Yeah, we should upgrade everything sometime soon. Okay, so production. Let's see, that's our main planet. Oh yeah, we need that Titan. 30 turns to get the Titan, holy crap. That's with 21 production. We should just move some food. We don't really need these guys assigned to food, there's no reason to do that. We just need the planet to not starve, yeah, like this. 24 turns, that's still a lot of turns. We need to build that on the ultra-rich planet. This one. We are about to finish the jump gate. I think terraforming will wait. And research lab will wait. Let's queue up the titan. That's 34 turns, holy crap. That's insane. 26 production. That's almost as high as our main planet, with all production assigned. So we'll get the two titans and then attack the guardian, that's the plan right now. Hopefully it will be enough. It should be enough. Right, next planet. 7 out of 8, let's just get the space elevator. That's another one of these buildings that's worth building pretty much everywhere, I guess. So, you. 15 turns. We should just send it all the way here. Next. Welcome. GNN. GNN. Anything exciting? <laughs> Eight planets. I'm not very impressed. Next. Welcome to GNN. More GNN. Network. Another war. Yeah, let them fight each other. We don't really care. So, are these planets any good? Volcanic, rich, medium, medium desert abundant with some gold, not bad, and gems. All right, let's go this way. What about upgrades? We should get more upgrades. Upgrade that battleship. We do have a starbase over here. This is probably going to be expensive. 625 to upgrade the battleship. That's a little bit insane. This is why we need to save the money. Imagine how expensive upgrading the Titans will be. Okay, and we got more. Do we not have a starbase here yet? I guess not. Or maybe these guys don't actually need any upgrades. Fleet B. No, that's just the civil transport. There, now we can add some population, unload. That's four population. And we finished a starbase, right here. Nice one. So what do we need here? Nothing specific right now. We can do some terraforming, even though it will take a pretty long time. But I see no reason not to do it. We are maxed on population, so we can move some guys around. Yep, just to speed up terraforming. Carry on. So the battleship is upgraded. We'll just leave it here for now. More production is done. We should just get more civil transports. 
probably was this planet volcanic and rich we don't need any of these things not really so civil transport sure why not that will only take two turns and more Terran poor small there was some building for poor planets was it this one they eliminate production yeah that's not for poor planets but that's for planets with low and heavy gravity there was some building for poor planets specifically i don't remember what it was maybe we didn't actually unlock it yet i don't remember but i remember seeing one let's get the gravity generators but anyway i'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode thanks for watching and i'll see you next time